fucking goddamn. Uh, well, button. guess what? That's what I'm. Oh, I'm gonna stop that now. <laughs> anyway, you know, I'm gonna wait for that to pull up real quick. Galen's pouring some juice, ladies and gentlemen. 4:18 p.m. on Thursday, February 17th, 2022. We got the right month this time. We are live. What's oh. happening, boys? Well, hey. How's it going? We are in Canoga Park. We are sitting here with no guests today. It's back to the original Just Us Two. Just the jam. Uh, we've had some incredible guests over the year, and uh, we are going to have incredible ones as well. We have some lined up stuff that we will surprise you with later on down the road, but hey. Hey. What's up? You know, sometimes it's okay to just have the three amigos have a discussion. This is true as well. I mean, if you go to our first live, you can go out and look at that thing. Um, if you want a good belly laugh, go check it out. <laughs> because we got some hokey thing set up in the other room. We're looking at the right. iPhone like this. We we should actually take it down. It's really no, kind of stupid. It's actually a blast. Well, I think I was, I don't know, on a road trip or something, and... Uh, you guys had the phone propped up and were doing parts and didn't know it was live and were like looking in the camera all goofy and it was hilarious. Well, in the old days, the olden you, you days, you were still going to school. This is true. And you weren't coming in every day. Yeah. So now that has changed as of about a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. You know, it became an everyday occurrence for you. Yeah, and we will soon we've been talking about it uh we will soon have a camera aimed at josh so you can see him when yeah. he's talking i don't want to see myself on camera Ooh, yes, the sweet do. sound of I mean, we blue mountain pendants out to us uh, i done, think he's way so ahead of I, us as far yeah. as production quality that yeah, I, I, I asked him i think he was trying to keep his secrets now he he told me what's up he's using some other system with like a mixer and yes. cameras but it well, looked good. looks good yeah sure i mean does. i was i saw a post of his i guess it was yesterday and uh, really clear audio sounds great. So well done, Setzer. Yes, sir. Um, what song? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the Instagram people we're going live. Oh, Just what on. I needed by the Cars. Just what? I, yeah, why not? <laughs> so we're live, but the Instagram people don't know we're live. Mm. Yo. Yeah. I see. Um, so look, we've had a. Two incredible drops in the last two weeks. Really good stuff. You know, and it's a little divergent from where we've gone, but I love these documentaries. And I, you know, clearly I made a mistake on the date. I mean, I think we're in the future here, but like, we've just been getting ribbed for that for sure. Well, and, we had uh, so many comments on it's that. It's okay. I, I, I think blame that on editing. I don't know. Yes. I don't know if you made a mistake because you really actually believed it was March. He was. He, believed it was the future could it could have been the brown stuff the night before a hundred percent or someone said maybe the cold affected my brain that's what i said on a bunch uh -huh. of comments but uh -huh. at the same time he said uh the town of valentine about three and a half seconds after you said the town of yes whatever hackberry and uh yeah so and, I, and, and I, but we got you know. that one corrected on film yes we did but uh we caught that anyway i i really love the drops i think it's you know, a whole different approach, and and we got a comment by a couple YouTubers and saying our stuff is great, and um, I I think this documentary. I mean, we'll get back to kind of the normal writing and stuff, but well, the next couple of them I think have some writing, a little bit, but you know, it's again we're gonna have you know some really interesting guests. We have a distillery that we stop at. We stop at uh, the Kingman Airport. Yeah, but in the um, future, when we're doing some of these these documentaries, we're going to be av having to ride in other states to get where we're going. So there'll be more riding yeah. involved in them for sure. And we learned so much in the filming of this series that we kind of know a little better how to put it together and how to maybe get more riding in a video that might not have had riding in it. Yeah, and I make mean, it more shape it, the story. It is tough because, like, if we do if we do the uh, call it uh pasadena to needles again you still have stretches where it's like we had one day where it was 70 miles yeah right so you can't get a ton of writing in there but but that's not going to be our whole we're not documentary guys our whole year long right i mean this is just a series and we'll do two or three of these throughout the year but we have a couple lined up yeah you know and we got some cool young gun stuff lined up we got sturgis ahead of us we need to find uh a sidecar for a Harley Davidson or a Harley Davidson that has a sidecar for maybe a couple film clips because, uh, you know, 
We got yeah, paging all sidecar owners. Yeah, so let us know. You know, this will be off before you know it. I'm going to heal very quickly here and get back on the bike, even if there's pain involved. But it'd be fun to do a thing where I can just chill in a sidecar. Oh, so you mean you want me to do all the work? Yeah. Like I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> it's a, exactly. It's part hey, of the plan. Hey, move this. Go over here. Do that. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez uh, it's like King Neptune. We can hire a rider. You could be on your bike riding next to me, waving and stuff. Do you think that this will be loud on the microphone if I decide I to snack? I bet it would. Whoa. <laughs> All right, I'm moving the mic up. Have fun. <laughs> so what? you don't have any comments? You got any people joining? <laughs> Let me finish chewing. Jeez. Um, we got Ty CBO Glide, Eric Young from Jacksonville, Florida in the house, APOC 82 from Wisconsin, uh, motorcycle Riding USA from Hollister, California. Nice. John Paul Cole from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Awesome. Cyrus Quinton in the house from Milwaukee. He got that uh, Salmon yes. Explorer seat. Excellent, um, excellent. Let's see what else we got here. So side hack. Place. Anyone know? Yeah, anybody got a sidecar. We'll pay good money. And by that, I mean about four dollars um <laughs> we got Corey in the house mike mcgee Jer jerry winfrey i hog rider eric young waiting to come to florida fellows sounds like we have a visitor in the house uh -huh. um cheetos i don't know cheetos. is there cheetos anywhere Cheeto. oh no i mean that's uh celery and carrots uh -huh. oh Great the combo. healthy stuff yeah um <laughs> lance needs an automatic transmission not a sidecar Oh, he's mostly he just can't put his foot down. That's yeah. about it. So if I came to a stop and went lean left, I need to get the foot a little stronger before I can tap that onto some yeah, asphalt. Sir. But he's kind of ruined it for the rest of us. So we need to get him on the trip. So we're going to throw him in a trailer or I've, a side act. I've been there, done that too. So yep. The show must go on. Apparently we can't Don't say that anymore. That. Someone yeah. said that one time. Well, they've been saying it for years, about 70 in Hollywood. But another YouTuber said that, so we can't say it. Yeah, That's what we heard. Uh-huh. Um, anyway, uh, Alex said, I feel the pain from Oakland, California. Guy McPherson, Lance Need. Oh, he said, I read that one already. <laughs> Kevin Kent in the house. Hey, Kevin. Um, what if someone has a sidecar and they're like, no, they have to drive it, though? I guess we'll, it would depend we'll on who they your bike. Are they a sidecar racer? Uh, oh, you I mean they, they, they want... said they, yeah, well, I'll take you for a ride. No dice. No one travels with <laughs> well, that. Well, they said, uh, get Lance a trike. Uh, that's that could be for an episode be, or two. Yeah. We can make it work. But we've yeah. we've got some great content still to go. Oh and, yeah. You know, again, it comes back. We've got what three more of these documentaries to drop. Yeah, let's see like this. That. This coming one is the whiskey throttle. I'm calling it the uh, whiskey distillery tour and the historic Route 66 that's Kingman Airport. The one after that is touring Kingman with the historian Jim Hinckley. Fun and time, then, fun times. I think we ripped home after that. Yeah. Right? There wasn't anything uh, else? No, we went Oatman. Oatman. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah that, we that was a rad home. one, too, because the Oatman one, we have not only some, probably one of my favorite sections of road I've ever ridden, the Sidewinder Route 66 from Cool Spring to Oatman, but we also have some really killer interviews, which will make for a good documentary kind of sequence there. And we got donkeys. Not only don regular donkeys, but... Famous donkeys that are also public officials. The That's orphan right. donkey. And that are also, yeah. So we've got some great drops coming. Yep. And I don't know, we've been looking pretty closely at a lot of the comments uh, on these two documentaries. And the amount, I mean, I just love America and I love people that are out of this country because they are commenting like, we got to get there. I want to ride that. I, and, and it's awesome that you're showing people and... and that you're supporting their town and we've had even the town members reach back out to us and thank us for you know telling our story and their story and i had fun i had a blast and i just it really makes me proud to see the content that we're putting out but even more proud when we get the kind of comments we're getting and you know in our intro we say we're the vessel to tell these stories and we're doing it and and i dig it i think it's great i think it's allowing people to get to see a little bit more in detail because we're usually kind of on the fly let's go we're filming getting into town late and you know but this has been 
kind of a learning experience for all of us that if we spend a little more time in some of these places, we can really get some great stories out of it. Well, that's what it's all about. It's going somewhere, going to the local pub, uh, going to the local diner, um, local motel, meeting the people. You talk to them. You say hi. You're going to get. You're going to learn. You're going to hear. It's, it's. That's what it's all about. You know, we've we've had people um, that we've met that they know how many miles they've gone on their side by side by how many beers they had. <laughs> we met the bartender up at the Canyon Club, and she gave us what the the triangle of the San Francisco Peaks, Sedona, Grand Canyon. Yeah. You know, you just get all these interesting stories. You hear. Mirna talk about the Delgadillo family. Um, you know, you hear Debbie talk about the Popes and yep. Amy talking about Hackberry and the people that owned it before her. And, you know, it's just you can dive into these and they, they become really interesting I mean, we've learning take, opportunities. We've taken the United States and we've made it a lot smaller, but we've just getting started. You know, we're getting started and we have so much ahead of us, so many places to go and people to meet and, I mean, we may be sleeping in a wigwam in San Bernardino at some point. You think? Yeah. Are there wigwams in San Bernardino? Yeah, remember the wigwam you mean the, motel? Oh, the the teepees. Yeah, the wigwam <laughs> motel, and that's that was a staple on Route 66. For sure. And, and there's a few of them out there. And we're like going to go stay at that. I, I imagine we would stay there if we're doing Pasadena to Needles. We could stay there. You know. Um, but they, they have a swimming pool. <laughs> so, and then, you know, we've also, we're coming up, this is uh, our second year of doing this. Uh, what our, I think our first drop was what, like March 4th or 5th? Something like that. I'm, Something I'm like that of, 29th, of 2020. And so we're coming up on two years. You look around the studio here. We started in that office over there. We went out to the warehouse. Yeah. We've got this nice little studio that we've set up. The warehouse was funky. You got all these patches. Yeah. You've got some really cool trips that we've done. I mean, that look at that Milwaukee to to May nineteen. And we have we have miles. more patches too. I was just gonna get to that. So, um, Lance uh, broke his leg, as you all know, and we we're up on uh, Chimney Peak Road. Uh, Chimney Peak Peak. Wilderness? It's Chimney Peak Road, I think, or Wilderness, whatever. But right outside of Kern, we had no service. Uh, Randy had to run down and and find when he could see some bars on his phone, which was almost to, is it Meadow? What's the? Onyx. It was almost to Onyx. Um, You had to go that far. You had to go that (laughs) So he calls 911, gets gets them on the line, Lo and behold, the battalion chief was on that day, so he shows up. Um, everyone treated you great. Oh yeah. Um, you know they were they were caring about him. So you've got the Kern Fire. Kern. To, that's the number seventy one is the station. Yep. We got a patch. We got a sticker from them. We got a challenge coin, which is really awesome. And then we got a couple of Kern County patches that we're going to be proudly putting up there. They allowed us to leave Lance's bike uh, behind their fire station in a gated area. Um, funny story, Randy uh, and Brian were picking up the bikes that evening. Those guys, the bay went, bay door opens up. They're going out on a call. Two of the firefighters jump out of the truck and say, hey, we want your autograph. My cousin in Florida uh, follows you. And they're like, no, that that's not us. But right. But we did end up sending them some shirts. We sent uh, Mr. Trinidad some shirts as well, um, so and a couple signed postcards. So that was that was pretty darn cool. And you got some other cool ones right there. Yeah, these are these are from a guy we just met, Mike. Yeah, these are from a guy we just met really over the phone. He he was looking to order some things and. Uh, for some reason, I ended up calling him back uh, on one. I think it was a helmet or something that wasn't in stock. But this guy has a historic background, and um, he said he's got a couple extra patches, one from Hawaii where he was assigned, one from the Central Valley Fugitive Task Force, which is now part of the regional. Sorry, no extra of those patches. A patch from the former Australian police officer that I worked with in Iraq in 2007 while deployed to... Um, the the war there and he was helping out helping train you know the iraqi police and this there were 
a number of countries that were there, so he traded patches with that person. Um, he's closing in on retirement, so he'll look to maybe have some of his collection uh, uh, sent out to others to share what he's, his, his story. Um, and he said he'll keep us in mind. Excellent. Uh, so we may get a few more patches from him and coins, which would be awesome. So we got a total of five new patches. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. Pretty Hold, kind of. You don't have to go to the too far. You can just show them from there. Can you see them? Too close. Lower. There you go. And let me get the current. Not bad. Boom. Thank you. For for all of you guys. So anyone out there with patches, send them on in, man. We'll give you a shout out. We'll put you up on the wall there with our other fine patch collection growing there. Uh, awesome. We have so many, so many trips planned. We have so much to share with you guys. You inspire us so much. And uh, we are just getting started. It's going to be a great year, even though it's already going to be uh, the end of February is coming quick. So... Yeah, I think we could talk also a little bit about, I mean, we did with Matt Laidlaw, who was here last week. We want to thank him for that. Yeah, thank you, Matt. That was a great time. I mean, despite some of the bumps and bruises on those Pan Americas, yep. uh, what a great time, you know. Um, I know that's not a great time, but uh, <laughs> those bikes, to me, you know, Josh was talking about, yeah, maybe not an adventure bike, but... Now, after riding that, could have his bagger and then have a pan in there. So if you did want to just jump off the highway and get up into the sticks a little bit, you certainly could. I would love to ride Pan America sure. someday to Sturgis. You know what That's, I saw? Yeah. I saw a picture of someone on social, and this dude had, I mean, plenty of dudes put risers on adventure bikes. Yeah. Not to the extent that we do it right. on, on a touring bike. But uh, I like saw this picture, and he hadn't quite done it up like that but he did put higher straight risers and kind of like a high bend bar and i was just picturing him like damn you could you could technically make one of, like i was talking before get smaller wheels and street tires and like right make that a daily on the street and then when it comes time to do dirt switch everything out but i'd almost be that'd be a pretty rad ride to ride that with bars risers cool little windshield some like kind of track wheels, maybe a cool like a step up seat, yeah. something like that. Like you could make that, you could build that thing in a pretty damn unique way. You it's know? got 150 horsepower, has no problem getting out of its own way. No. Yep. And the suspension's great. It was great um, on the street. I mean, wow. Um, but yeah, and I we were looking today. They've got some new colors out this yeah. year. Pretty pretty darn neat. Uh, they had one of the Wyman brothers out on the track uh, out. I think they're in Arizona. Wilcox. Somewhere around Wilcox. And they, uh, one of the Wyman brothers was ripping that thing, you know, knee to the ground uh, around the track out there. It looked pretty cool. So Matt's having a good time, I assume. Well, you Sweet know, you got, you got your, uh, your daily riders, your weekend riders. You have guys that want to be Bagger Race League. You've got stunting guys. Don't forget and all that, man. Going on a trip. Spending the night somewhere and seeing different things is like, that's part of the tradition of Harley Davidson. So don't lose that. Yeah. If you want to go camping, if you want to just go yeah. find a motel somewhere, just take your run as far as you can take it. Yep. Find a little town and drop in, have some dinner, maybe a cold beer and find another place the next day. You know, good times. I mean, exploring is a, a good time. Mike back on after the uh, the snack chewing. in there, but I was I was watching some Adam Sandoval videos after he left that comment on our video because I haven't ne just never really watched a bunch of it, and it, there was kind of like his uh, trailer you know intro video just like we have on our page to the channel and I'm sitting through it, and he was talking about you know how he traveled for essentially every day for years and his his routine for years was what our routine is almost to a T when we're on trips. It's wake up early, pack the bike, film something, get a quick breakfast, ride all day, sometimes to a place you're not quite sure where yet, get in, unpack the bike, you know, do that whole deal. And there, there is something about that, that that is maybe in the time you're carrying, you know, all your shit from your bike and suitcases and this and that, you're like, oh, I just got to put this down. But you're always looking back at it and you're like, man, I love doing that. 
you yeah, know, and, never, and unpacking and cruising the town. I don't know if Randy would agree that we get out early. Well, he was late first. In my defense, he did. He tell started me, well, the late. So the next, he did. He the next he made, day, he put the late juju on it we, and it uh, started late. Let's see, night, night number two. After you had parted ways, we ended up in Kern, and I was, uh, for lack of a better word, shielded. No matter how much I drank, I didn't feel it. So I was probably six or seven shots of JMO in, and eight, you know, maybe seven or something. Why were Bud you lights. shielded? I don't get it. I don't know. But eventually, we did a really cool interview with the guy who runs uh, Ewing's, and then I just don't remember even walking back to the table. Um, yeah. And we uh, did it, you actually capture the interview? Yeah, yeah it was great. It's great. I'm pretty sure I pressed record. But uh, the next morning, I woke up kind of still feeling it, like feeling great, almost too great. And then I come outside, kind of limping because my ankle is still all jacked up. And Randy's like, "Oh, don't worry, man. Take your time." I'm like, uh huh really and then i realized that we couldn't transfer the cards all the memory cards from day two without my laptop which was in your bike that was at the fire station so i had to ride out it was only like a half an hour ride each way and there i discovered the uh capabilities of the pan am on the street and uh got the computer came back and then did all the cards and like went to go fly up the drone and it was out of storage it was this whole deal so we didn't get out on the road until what 11 30 yeah 11 30 instead of it was nice. rough. instead Randy of nine going what is going on but here? uh hey so <laughs> maybe he if we said, were out on he time told josh take your time and i i yelled out of my hotel don't room, do it no no you can't do that. but i was functioning on very few brain cells so you know but that's all part of good fun sometimes it, that it happens is. on the trip yeah, Pan America on the street's really awesome. And they you know, were, the trips that we kind of do, we are always on the street, we're on the road, uh-huh. and then next thing you know, there's a dirt section. So they're kind of, it'd be cool for that. Even though we can do it on a road glide, there's there's a whole different different scenario going on. I there. mean, you don't want to spend three weeks on the dirt on the road glide, but you know what I mean. You don't want to, I mean, probably the longest road we've been on on the road glide is that cut off when you when we wanted to get up to boar's nest you know we were all yeah that that was a couple we were on that for a while oh yeah that was you know yeah um, either that or sturgis but but it was a decent road you know for sure and that was before this ride just like uh we all had our our differences on what the definition of a fire road is (laughs) when i was like when when we were hearing that oh we're going to be mostly on fire roads i'm like yeah you could probably take a bagger on that but we soon found out it was uh, not not bagger territory in most places. Um, you well, could, pr- the you first could probably fire do it. Road, no. Yeah, the, the Texas Canyon, not so much. There the, was definitely some stuff you could have, but once you get into sand, I mean, we don't have tread on our tires like a like a adventure bike or dirt bike does. The desert, we could probably do okay. There wasn't a lot of deep sand there. Yeah, I don't think we could have made it to the cabin, though. No. No, absolutely not. Uh, or out of the cabin. Yep, <laughs> or out of the cabin. Or maybe we would have made it better without falling over like we all did. Well, if you tipped over I on the bag or just <laughs> tips well, over. Well, you had to do an emergency to, fall over. So I have a um, I can still edit and shoot. and. I know. Uh, Let's see just here. Just dipped it. But someone like Matt Laidlaw, he's six foot six. Yeah. Adventure bike for him is like great. Yeah. You big guy, no problem. But he could just stand up and let the bike fall over. Right, right. I mean, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a tall dude. So, um, hey, we got some cool things happening well, one, in March. Yeah, that's really cool. But really quick. You don't even we, know what's cool. Before we get to the cool, yeah. I got to say this before we forget. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring the bell. Do the message thing. Do the whole thing. Get us going here. All right, go Check ahead. out the last that drop. Was supposed to be in the first minute. Well, we did it now. Well, you know, maybe the oxycodone's <laughs> messing with the cabeza. No, I'm good. Uh, we're gonna try a couple different things in March. We're gonna we've got these bundle sales that have been great for us, uh, but we want to be able to give back a little bit to the people that maybe aren't spending quite as much money on the bundle and then those that are spending maybe a little more money with the bundle. So we're coming up with a March Madness uh, sales campaign uh, that you guys can look at. Watch for it. We'll announce it next uh, week's newsletter. We'll probably announce it on next week's live uh, on YouTube. Uh, so it's going to, it should do, you know, for those of you that haven't purchased yet, watch for that. For those of you that have plans to 
build your bike, give it a week or so, and then we'll have this up and you guys can check it out. So sign up to the newsletter on the website. We'll keep you all up to date with that. We also we also have these incredible number one signature series shirts. Those are sold out. Um, they're sold out, and we will be getting those out. But in the future, what we're planning on doing is creating kind of these collectors. Uh, it'll come with a postcard with the picture of the place, and, and it'll have some theme to the shirt. Uh, we've got those. They're being printed right now. We'll get those out hopefully Friday and Monday. Um, but, uh, Josh, if you want to stand up and... Just show them your. Come around. Let's see. Turn spot focus off. Ah. Let me get in if I get on my knees a little bit. Yeah. This the old. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Hold oh. for a second there. Boy, look at he's been going to the gym lately. He's, he's building up those biceps. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but he's got an extra small shirt on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I think this kind of idea of Ain't no shame of shopping at Baby Gap. collecting the shirts. You know what I mean? Well, if I got the shirt personally, what I would do is I'd wear it one time, and then I'd frame it or hang it on the wall with the postcard. That's what I'd do. Yeah, I mean, everyone's in the garage. Do something you know? a little yeah. different, but uh, my closet is actually just full of picture frames, and I just have to buy new shirts every week because I frame them after I wear them. Well, I have a guy I grew up with, Frank. Frank Reale, uh -huh. and he collected NASCAR or dragster, drag strip NHRA shirts, mm -hmm. and every one of them, he has hundreds of them. They're all in the cellophane, folded. Yeah. All just like But some people do that too. I mean, it's and in, I think it'd be fun to see 10 years from now. Right. If we're on signature number 70, you know, or whatever it is, and then go back and have someone show us, here's right. here was the number one. Well, I'm blown away because I think that we just are at two years on this Amazing. platform, this channel that we've built. We have over several hundred videos. We're just getting started. We have great relationships with people, uh, sponsors, uh, people we work with. So we've done a lot in two years. I can't imagine what it's going to be like two years from now. Do we have 700 videos? No, we got about 200, including lives. Yeah. Okay. He said several. Several hundred. Boom. Oh, I thought you said 700. No. No. Um, let's see. Working out 16 ounces at a time. That's right, Mike. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and then we've got a couple new shirts that are also dropping. Um, we've done a little different design uh, or colors of shirts with a little coloration of the uh, badge that I think is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and these hats that I'm wearing, I mean, this black highwayman hat it's a 110 i believe and it it's probably the most comfortable hat i've ever they're had. a good hat it's a great hat so check that stuff out on the website badge socks it's all cool it helps fund the rides um and then josh we were talking about we're getting so many comments yeah let me turn mine back up stop snacking we just um, gotta find a sidecar yeah on, we just guys. gotta find, well a lot of people were saying if you're going to be riding in the wind, don't be in a sidecar. Get yourself on a trike. But we'd still have to find out, you know, get you like some sort of no, suicide shift car. or whatever. But, yeah, we'd like a sidecar. We, we need to do that. That would be hilarious also. Yeah, um, what's that? What was the question? So oh, we yeah. were talking about so there, like there's, the other day with Laidlaw. We had so many comments coming in that we couldn't answer them. Mm -hmm. Well, he was saying, because we had all these great comments, or he got all these comments of like even on our live saying, you know, I bought a bike from him because he had videos and he was responsive. And that's that's the case 95% of the time. But for us, you know, it's it's the three of us doing YouTube comments and then we each have pages that are, you know, thousands and thousands on Instagram and whatnot. And it is hard to keep up with those and in some senses almost humanly impossible to get to every... We try to get to every comment, but sometimes some slip through the cracks and especially on the lives, trying to keep up. So there's some program on YouTube where you can kind of get priority through there, but we're going to look into that. Um, in the meantime, we appreciate everyone that comments regardless. But we'll see how that goes. We have to kind of do some research. Yeah, we, we don't really want to charge, but we, I mean, when it gets to a point where if you want to say something and we need it responded to, I mean, there's I definitely a way have, to do that. I have to see how it works. I think it's just for lives. Not really sure, but we'll right. find out. Yep. Um, just ask a few times on the same 
uh, show, and maybe it'll be seen. Yeah. Boom. So uh, any comments going here. on over there? Well, uh, yeah. I can't believe it's Thursday. Go Scott ahead. Scott Lynn says, a little late what happened to his foot. I'll do the Cliff Notes version. Adventure bikes, great time. Also, ice. very thick ice that was unavoidable, and a saddle, metal saddlebag slash pannier did a little crushing on his tib fib. Boom. There Boom. you go. That's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, American Rider Insider says it's called a super chat. So, <laughs> I like that. You know, uh, yogurt didn't see you this morning. I usually catch him on the freeway or on Canaan when I'm leaving. He says he's working really hard. And he has his 9 billion lumen headlight on his, <laughs> on his road glide. Um, let's see. Come get your tires tomorrow. Yep. Doug Hampton. Love the Route 66 series. I like going back in time. Speaking of time travel, didn't Galen say he was there March 11th, 2022? He I did. Was. They should go back there before Lance hurt his leg. I, I actually like that idea. That's yeah. a good one. We'll go back and rewind that sucker and, you know. That's how we're, that's how we're living. We're just time traveling. How's, uh, said, what's up, guys? How's Sir Hop, Hopalot doing? Uh, hanging in there. Got a good team of people around me, from my wife to my pals here to everyone, and you know it, it makes it where you can do your stuff and still function. So, yes, sir. You know, positive attitude, heal up quick, no excuses. Get on the bikes and ride. I got an idea. Yeah. You know, burden. You know when? <laughs> <laughs> Not for him either. You know what you do with bur- burdens, right? You know, you take care of them. Oh, you drink bourbon. Uh-huh. Um, um. Remember those swings as a kid when you're like very small and it's like a little bucket with leg holes? Yes. So we should just take a power (laughs) saw and just cut little leg holes in the back of the tour pack and he can sit backwards in a little tour pack basket and we'll Uh get some heavy duty ledge and suspension and he can hold my gimbal and the full size camera and he can film the new two lane life featuring Josh and Galen. Uh Aha. And I think one of the Wait, someone's got to ride me though. Yeah, he's yeah, going to ride you. <laughs> How am I going to film him when I'm facing backwards? Don't say that. Why do you want to be ridden? <laughs> Jeez, this bad. is a family show. This is a bourbon show. So, oh, but we drinking. need to do one thing with that. We've got to get your brother to design a platform that will come out of the tour pack to keep the one leg up. Yes. Well, by then, no, he, he, that. Down. he did send me a prototype for the uh, tour pack quick release mounting situational gyro slider kit. Because you should see when this guy's foot's down, these little piggies start turning purple <laughs> well, and brown. How long's it been? It happened. It's only been a couple had weeks. Surgery almost a week ago, Friday. Tomorrow will be a week for surgery. Yeah. So I'm thinking into next week, the couple days in there, and I've talked to people that are broken bone. That's when the swelling yeah, all that stuff kind of goes away. Right. And yep. then I'll just be running around on crutches. And For sure. Yeah. Uh, so we do have a couple better answers, too. First, Brandon Fenland says, Sup, boys, any trips planned to Colorado? Doing a solo journey of 1,800 miles out there in the spring. Awesome. Nice. From Col- in Colorado, to, I think 1,800 to miles? Colorado. He, he is. He's coming here. No. Doing a solo there? journey of 18 miles out there. So he's 1800 going there. 1,800 miles out there. Um, Colorado's great. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, you've got a lot of different places you can ride Estes there. Estes Park. Yeah. Get up there. Yep, Estes Park. You've got the Rocky Mountain uh, Highway up on. You're right on top of the mountain. You've got uh, Million Dollar Highway, Durango, I-70. Even just that interstate's yeah. amazing. I mean, we're going to be all over the country this year, different spots. I keep seeing Daytona stuff. That's like next week, or is it? I think you got to have a times they a do minimum of a 24 inch front wheel, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. New regulation. Big we wheel need a Cody. Side hack with the yes, 24 sir. inch on the front. I think Cody still has that big wheel. I he respect can it. Tell us what's up with that big um, wheel stuff. American Rider Insider says super chat and super stickers are a way to connect with fans and creators during live chat. Viewers can purchase super chats to highlight your message within the live chat. Gotcha. Gotcha. Huh. Cool. Um, you got to activate it on your channel. All right, we'll look into that. Um, Ottawa seems like a great ride for the spring. That would Ooh. be awesome if we can find our way up there. Um, Riding with Shag says he loves my idea, so we'll get your your little tour pack basket going on. <laughs> Where is he going to keep his hat? Um, let's yeah, see. I have to wear it. Right? 
Scotty Flyfish says, check out Bogan's Road Glide build 8500 lumen one piece headlight. Crazy. Not sure if it's legal in the U.S. Wow, 8500. I don't think uh, Shannon's is illegal either. And his is kind of that one piece, yeah, like bar vibe. He has a yellow and the white, which is cool. Um, Captain Suburbia going to do a Park City, Utah ride this summer. Your vlog gave me good ideas. It's awesome. Park City was rad. I wish we spent more time we, there. We didn't get to do the Alpine Loop. I wanted to take these guys. They were paving it. So it's if close. you get a chance to do that, Alpine Loop is, is not – you don't want to miss that one. Boom. Um, and if you have a few extra minutes – uh, American Fork Canyon, go up to Timpanogos uh, Cave, take that little hike up. It's an incredible cave that has stalactites, stalagmites. It's one of those discoverable kind of places that you never knew would be out there. I like seeing those kind of caves Ooh. across the country, and there's so many of them. Um, let's see, riding with shags. Can't wait for my 23-day ride. I'll be at your place around the second week of August. Sounds great. Will we be uh, in Sturgis? Uh, we'll be in Sturgis second week of August, huh? Probably the, the first to the thirteenth. Yeah, know. we'll have to coordinate that, Mr. Shags. Yes, sir. Uh, Kevin Kent riding down the East Coast from Seattle to the Redwoods in June, then riding the thirty six East. Nice, nice. Um, definitely turn on your super chats. We do it for live streams, and it's pretty nice. That's from De Beard. Interesting. Cool. Um, so super chats. Don't hate on Daytona Bike Week shows and coleslaw wrestling at its finest. You know what? <laughs> you have me interested. No, when when is it though? It's like coming up, right? There's it's. I think it's. Uh, he said two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. And then I think it's again. You have another one in what October? Sub- in September, so. early October, something like that. John Paul Cole says, "Take your time healing, Lance. Make sure you do your physio." You'll be glad you did. Speaking from experience, you no, are I, correct. I hear you. I'll, I'll keep it oh, moving. Riding with Shag says he'll be in Sturgis also. Yeah, oh. and he's bringing the dog. I think I All do right, believe. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, Russell Bonvi, I'm in need of getting a new rear tire in my 19 Roguelide. What tire do you guys use, and how many miles are you getting out of them? American Dunlap Elite is the tire of choice that we have come to conclusion that we dig in all conditions and. It's always good to have a new tire, no matter what. I mean, the newer the rubber, the better it is, because that's the only thing between you and the road. But we usually get about 8,000 out of it. Yeah, 8 to 10. Yeah. And it's even, a Dunlop American Elite. They're hard to find, so we, we can get them, but they're back-ordered, and it takes generally three to six weeks. But really good for cornering, really good for straights. Rain. Just we, a good all-around tire. We, we've tried two or three different brands over the years, yeah. and... We keep coming back to that tire. Yeah. I feel confident with it. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. It's always a great feeling getting that first eight to 10,000 out of the way on the stock tires. Yeah. And then when you replace them with some good tires, you just hop on. It's just a totally different ride. Um, yeah. Mark Lawless said, did my DSP patch get any play? Which DSP one was? patch. DSP. Tell us what that is, Mark. Sorry. Is it a patch you sent in? Department of something, people. Uh, we because we talk about every patch and, and it's now kind of. I think who, who was it that sent a bunch of those that we did today? No, that was. Uh, we have. That was Tim. Tim. And we also have the battalion. Chief. Is it the U.S. Border Custom Protection? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it definitely got some play because we, no matter who sends a patch in, we, we give you a shout out with your name and, and then we put it on the wall. Yo. We show it in the camp. Uh, Scott Lynn says special police, maybe? Yeah. I mean, it could be over. We'll see. Also, just a heads up, uh, we didn't charge the camera before this, so if we die, we die. Oh, we'll my see. God. How I don't, long I don't think it will. It's, look like? It's plug- oh, it doesn't say. It's plugged into a power bank, the charging light. Oh. Let me check on that. You guys what talk amongst yourselves. What sets or pendants have this problem? Nope. <laughs> well, we use this equipment so much. We just, you know. Well, I, I forgot it was Thursday, and I figured I looked at the clock. It was like 3.45. And I'm like, oh, they probably don't want to go live. I'll keep editing. And then we come in here, 3.55. We going live at 4? We got to go live. Yeah, I'll Photoshop. Jesus, I'm getting blood all over myself. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Josh, Josh. Uh, did a little repair work on his uh, hog today, and he... Uh, 
bloodied his knuckles. So on his hog. <laughs> So it's, it's one of those where you don't even realize you cut yourself. Right. And he looks down and he's got blood everywhere. Right. So, you know, I walk out in the warehouse either in the morning on the way in or on the way out. And I do fire up the bike, let the oil heat up and cycle through and keep everything fresh and exciting. Well, I think it probably makes you more excited than the bike. Yeah. There's a guy out there that makes this stuff. It's called landing gear. And it's yeah. hydraulic, and it bolts to the passenger peg bottoms, and it is really, it's aluminum, and it's sleek looking, and it, when you come to a stop, it comes down, and it's got these gnarly, like, little skateboard wheels on it, <laughs> and they work great. I watch videos on it. I mean, screw it. Do that. He can't keep them in stock, yeah. and they're like 3500 bucks to buy them. Skateboard Ooh. wheels. They're gnarly, like hard, wheel. urethane like wheels. wheels. He has videos of him riding over dirt, grass. Well, it rolls? Uh, it rolls, absolutely. And when you take off from a light, it takes off with you. Within five, it's up. Like there's a, I think one of the dudes that played a role in engineering those, he rides a sport bike and he was paralyzed from like the chest down. And he put those on like an R6. Yeah. And like at a stoplight, they fall down. And then as you take off, they go, they're actuated by something. They're really quality awesome thing um, and he, the guy told me that he has a lot of vets they call him hmm. and say hey i'm a vet i really want to ride and those things make it so you don't have to put your feet down when you stop pretty badass pretty interesting um they're called landing gear if you want to google it for fun steven osga says what about seats look like y'all are running the saddleman slims how do your wives like them first off i will say those are in stock and ready to ship um yeah, that, we, yeah. that's our go-to that's our 98 percent seat if we throw the wives uh, or go on a ride with the wives, we throw on the road sofa by Saddleman. Yeah, because the wives will not sit on <laughs> yeah. the Saddleman Slim because it's really not a passenger-friendly seat. And, and if you can't afford you know, both seats, um, we tell people keep your stock seat sitting around because that's going to be more comfortable for her. Right. Maybe not for you as much, but it will be more comfortable for her yep. uh, right. than sitting on that little slim dilly there. Slim and if dilly. you can't afford it, you get the slim and you get the sofa. Yeah. Boom. Uh, Rex Laughlin says, found you guys a few months ago. Love your videos. Thanks for tuning in, Rex. We appreciate you, the Rex. support. Welcome um, to the family, Rex. Yep. OC Glide, I'm getting at least 12 to 13K out of a rear tire using the Dunlop American Elites. You guys doing burnouts? 8K is a low mileage for that tire. Well, well it's, for us, as, it's a lot of different terrain. As soon as we get cupping and, and we hear noise and we travel so much, we don't want to keep pushing it, so we change it. I mean, I got, I get 10 out of, like, stock tires just because they're hard as hell. But I got 14 out of my stock. Shit, my Metzlers, I got, like, 3,000 before I was wobbling yeah. to death. And a road glide, if you have a bad tire or cupping going on or anywhere... You let go of the handlebars and they're shaking on you, you need new rubber. Yeah. Um, let's see. The Beard says Daytona is March 4th through the 13th. Aha. Uh -huh. um, Scott Lynn says, love the color of Josh's bike on Route 66. Thank you, sir. Definitely cool. Deadwood Green Road King. Love that thing. What is it doing the sun? Sparkles. It's got some gold flake in there. <laughs> it's got some gold flake in that thing. That's right. And we got Shane Brown says, hey, guys, just want to give you a big shout out from Australia. You guys rock. Appreciate you, Shane. Right good on. looking Thanks, out. Shane. It's always awesome to see good people from all around the world checking out the videos. Hope all is going well for you over there. Um, riding with Shag says, someone told me you shouldn't start the bike unless you're going to ride it. I do it I do it anyway, but who knows? Yeah. Well, you got to keep that keep that thing fresh. Yeah. Uh, John. Oh, there's John the other day um, on the soft tail. He said, had lunch at El Pescador in Fillmore. Thanks, guys, for the recommendation and a much better route home to San Francisco than the five. Awesome. Nice. So he nice rode, meeting you. Yeah. He rode down for everyone listening. Um, he rode down from San Francisco to visit some family. Um, he had a street glide, I think he said, before. Ended up getting rid of it and got a low rider S, the soft tail. And he pulled up with uh, some packed leather pros, a big old saddle man, I think 34, 3500. Yeah. Old fairing setup. He's uh does some lots of solo riding, this and that. Anyway, good dude. He came by, picked up some gear, and got back on the road. Glad you're home safe. Yes, thanks. Nice to meet you. And isn't the open road awesome? It sure, sure is. is. You just get out there and you go. 
Dig it. Um, let's see. Wind in my beard says I use the cotton. Pirelli Night Dragons on my Road King. Haven't have tried those. those. Uh, riding too fast says I'm riding my sporty all the way to Sturgis. Ooh. Where are you coming from riding too fast? Where are you starting out? And you can do it. You can do it. Um, let's see. Riding with yogurt says my tires sing to me every day. Well, of uh-huh. course they do. Of course yeah, they well, do. Yeah, well, pretty soon it's going to be an orchestra and you better do something about it. <laughs> the wire <laughs> ripping along the road. Yeah, buddy. What else you got for these? Go- oh, let's see. Rhode Island Redneck, what's the, temp- what's the temperature out there? The weather is finally breaking over here in the little roadie. Uh, might take the bike out tomorrow. A lot of salt and sand on the roads. Well, three days ago it was like 90 degrees. Yeah. And in the past couple of days it's been like like in the 40s in the morning and it cools off to 60, it 70. It rained. Warms off. Yeah. yeah, it did rain. It's been a little bit back and forth. Riding too fast is coming from Parker. Right on. Uh, well, yogurt likes to melt GoPros. Yes, he does. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I saw that. Scra- scraping he it? scraped it. Yep. Got a little beveled edge. It's uh-huh. okay. You know, it's what they're, that's what they're there for. Exactly. We've wrecked a lot of GoPros, I'll tell you that. So <laughs> next week, what, we have uh, Here Here on? Here Here, yep. Uh, that's a really cool travel app. Yeah. Um. Have you guys listened to it? Have uh, I have listened. I've, I've been, been meaning to. to it in Seligman and uh, also in Kingman. Okay, it's awesome because it does tell you what's going on. I mean, the... that's almost. I mean, it's, I'm sure we'll talk about it. and I haven't heard a ton about it, but for us, like if we were pulling into a town and you might not know all the history that you want to share, just jam on that, play that, head into town, listen to it, find some new stuff, and boom, share it with the good people. There it is. Yeah, I mean it's it's really cool like that. I mean Kevin Costner's behind it as well. I, I'm sure he's funding part of it. Um, but you know you can be any anywhere in the U.S. and you can click on it. It GPS is where you're at. And it gives you a couple stories. It's pretty, but and we're going to give dark. away a couple. We're going to give away I think five passes to it. So you passes. could get the Boom. app on your phone in your car, whatever the deal is, and you can be doing so the same. So if you call thing. eight one no, <laughs> we'll figure out the other way. Um, and then we got Scott Lynn saying, "What will your next series be?" Well, that will be the Pan America Adventure Ride series, and let me tell you, it's packed with adventure. Oh yeah. Um, Riding with Shag says, Josh, when you record the front of the guy's bikes, are you just turning around for the shot or just turning the GoPro? I love the angles. Uh, I'm just using my hand. We don't we don't really mount the GoPros to anything except for the helmet cams. So I just face the GoPro backwards with my hand and keep my head forward on the road. And no, you don't. No, he you turns don't. around You're and looks at, at us. us. That's my legal answer. We all do that. Yeah, we turn around. I mean, I make sure it's angled right and then face forward and kind of but we're let on it run for a bit as well so we're yep. just saying josh here comes a car watch out blah 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 or lance get over get out of the way i mean it's we got we got a rhythm we're kind of yeah, like a, a really good rock band when we flow i think we're like an orchestra there and on the go. pan ams it was different that was i had yeah, a little chest tough. melt and it was uh, like a bungee so i'd take it off film it get the angle i could let it go if i hit a bump or got wobbly and it stuck to the chest then all three of us had a helmet cam for that, so that was kind of cool. Um, yeah. So, so the only mounted cameras typically are just our helmet cams. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Uh, everything right. else is done freestyle. Um, you can like ask that. the Shaws about that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Dustin and the snow says through, and they're going, "You guys are nuts." That's how we have uh, broken several GoPros by dropping them to the highway. Uh, service. Speak for yourself. I've never dropped I've a never GoPro. I've never dropped one on the highway. I've shattered a phone, yeah, but not uh-huh. a GoPro. We dropped it though. I dropped it. All right. Man. Well, dropping is dropped. What's up yeah. over there, bro? <laughs> uh, let's see. You don't even have whiskey in you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Uh, riding too fast says I have a YouTube channel as well, so definitely will be vlogging. Well, Excellent. nice. I'm gonna pin. Oh, I thought I d- I did pin it. Okay, follow that guy or gal. I can't see on there, but uh, let's see. Scott Lynn, do you plan to ride across Canada? We would like to get into Canada, but we need all this kind of stuff to get back to normal. Um, but yep. I'd love to do some spots. I've I've been to BC. Um, I would love to get a loop up into from Washington up and in, over into Glacier and down. And, That'd be awesome. I mean, there's just so much incredible riding there. We haven't done all we needed to in the U.S., but Canada would be a great spot. Meet some great Canadian people. Heck, yeah. 
Uh, when you're actually rolling at 60 or so, I'm not sure what he's, maybe he's talking about the GoPro, yeah. 60, 90, 100, whatever. And we're yeah. rolling, we roll, we film, we do our deal. Um, Bruce, good ride today in Virginia Beach, 71 degrees and sunny, Ooh. rain tomorrow, great videos, guys. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, illegal answers only, please, <laughs> from Shags. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Uh, wind in my beard says, Josh, which thrash and handlebar bag do you have on your Road King? I have the handlebar bag plus because I always carry sunglasses and a bunch of random stuff in there. So I got sunglasses in there. I keep my night riding glasses and one of the flaps on the inside. I like, keep, what are you, uh, doing? Get your phone? you know, chapstick, probably a spare knife, shown. I got charger, kind of anything I need. Just the daily stuff in there, gum, you know, whatever. Josh? Hey, I have a handlebar bag too right yes, here sir. on my crutch. Yes, sir, and that's the regular handlebar bag, but I like there the plus. It, it kind of fits <laughs> fits good behind there and uh spot and nice soft the, spot. Doesn't the glass. plus sunglasses. have the sunglass liner. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, we got some cool gloves coming too. Yeah. We do. I'm sure some of you guys saw out. that on some Two Instagram lane life stuff. gloves. Highway. See you down the road on the palm. We'll get into that when it gets closer, but stoked on that. Boom. Cool stuff happening. Well then, any uh concluding statements gentlemen well I look forward to next week's uh you know Illegal live because we've got a guest um we've got a great drop that's going to happen next week as well well we have a guest and giveaway we have giveaways but the the drop is going to be great um you know stay tuned because we'll probably find out we may have a side hack somewhere i, I know it's going to happen in a week yeah keep your uh, eyes out for a sidecar yes sir so now you're at the end. What do you want them to do? Well, what they should have done in the beginning. Which is? Subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, you guys know the routine. Subscribe to that YouTube channel. <laughs> the Oxycontin Oxycontin is kicking You guys in know officially. the routine. What's up, baby? What's up? Subscribe, subscribe. I don't, I don't subscribe. think I've ever felt stoned with the Oxy. Really? Ever. It's ever. just the pain goes away, and I'm like... Well, I'm going to lace your sandwich with five of them and see what happens. <laughs> that might be a different story. Yes, I mean, sir. I've never you, felt... may, you may not fill stone, but you do. No, he's good. He's yeah. sharp as a rock. <laughs> yeah, that's a really jagged rock. <laughs> hey, it's been fun. Yes, Thanks sir. Thanks for uh, the time today. I know we haven't had the guest in here, but sometimes we just do what we do. We just chill. Look for the drop next Wednesday. And if you didn't see this drop this last Wednesday, go back and watch it because it's really cool. It There's was some a good cool one. people to meet in that. Stay tuned to the Wednesday drops, and we will see you next Thursday, right? Give us a thumbs up, mash the bell, comment. TulaneLife.com for all your needs. And watch for the March Madness. We'll we'll we love you all. Like. With that, we'll see, see you down the road. Down the road. Bingo. End.